You know, what if I told you that right now, as you're watching this, millions of people are sending money all over the globe without a single bank involved? Yeah, no permission slips, no waiting three to five business days, just instant value sent from one person to another 24-7. This is the world of cryptocurrency. And if you think it's still just for tech nerds, you're about to see why 2025 is the year everything changes. Okay, let's just start with a really simple question. The money in your bank account. Is it really yours? I mean, seriously, think about that for a second. Have you ever tried to take out a large amount of cash? You get questions, right? You got to fill out forms. Maybe they'll even make you wait. That's because at the end of the day, the bank holds the keys. You just have permission to access what's yours. And this leads to all those little frustrations we've just learned to live with. You know, sending money to family overseas takes nearly a week and costs a fortune in fees. Or trying to make an emergency payment on a Saturday? Nope. Sorry. Banks are closed. The system we all rely on is kind of slow, it's pretty expensive, and it's definitely limited. And then there's the silent killer of our savings. Inflation. I mean, this just says it all, doesn't it? That lunch that used to cost 8 maybe 10 bucks a few years ago, now it's 15 The money that's just sitting in your account is literally losing its power to buy things every single day. So what if there was a different way? What if we could build a system from the ground up? Well, that is the entire idea behind cryptocurrency. It's money that you actually control. So what is it, really? Well, put as simply as possible, it's digital money. But instead of living on a private server owned by one bank, it lives on a massive global network of computers. And it's that structure, that network, that lets you send value straight to another person, no middleman needed to say okay. You know, this is probably the best analogy I've ever heard for it. Think about email. You don't ask the post office for permission to send an email, right? You just type it, hit send, and boom, it's there. Crypto is just like that, but for money. It's a true peer-to-peer system for value. And this slide, this really gets to the core of it all. Your bank account, it's basically an IOU from a single company that gets to set all the rules. Your crypto wallet, on the other hand, holds an asset that you truly, genuinely own, secured by millions of computers all over the world. It's the difference between having to ask for permission and never needing it in the first place. Okay, so you might be thinking, all right, I get it, but I've been hearing about Bitcoin for years. Why is 2025 so important? Well, because the entire game has changed. This isn't just some weird internet money anymore. Just look at what's happened. In 2024, Wall Street, we're talking the biggest players in the world, like BlackRock, finally jumped in. They started offering Bitcoin to their clients, making it as easy to buy as a regular stock. Then you've got major companies putting it on their balance sheets, treating it like digital gold. And the big one? Governments are creating clear rules for it. This isn't a fad. It's being woven into the financial system as we speak. And the sheer scale of it is just staggering. Four trillion dollars. That's not some niche hobby. To put that in perspective, that's bigger than the entire economy of most countries on Earth. The amount of money and brainpower flowing into this space is a huge signal that this is being taken very, very seriously. All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room. I know you've heard the horror stories, people losing everything. And look, the risks are absolutely real. But, and this is a big but, they aren't random. Understanding them is the first step to avoiding them completely. And this is the point I really want to drive home. Yes, people have lost money, but it's almost never just bad luck. It's usually because of a few common and totally avoidable mistakes. And here are the big three. Number one, investing money you can't afford to lose, like your rent money. Number two, chasing hype. You know, buying some coin just because you saw it trending online without doing any real research. And number three, ignoring basic security. Our whole goal with this series is to give you the knowledge so you never, ever make these mistakes. So if you only remember one single thing from our time here today, please make it this. The entire revolutionary idea behind all of this comes down to one simple word. Ownership. This is the perfect way to wrap your head around it. With your bank, it's like streaming music on Spotify. You have access to all the songs, but Spotify's in control. They can remove a song, they can change the price. With crypto, it's like owning the actual MP3 file. It's yours. You have total control over that asset. And really, that's the bottom line for 2025 and beyond. 
This stuff is already being plugged into the global financial system. So the question isn't if it's going to be a part of our future anymore. The real question is whether you'll understand it enough to navigate that future. So here's a little homework before the next one. Just think about it for a minute. What is your single biggest frustration with money right now? Is it the crazy fees? The slow transfer times? Is it watching your savings shrink because of inflation? Just pinpoint that one thing. Because trust me, when you really understand the problem, the solution starts to make a whole lot more sense. So please make sure you subscribe because in our very next explainer, we're going to tackle the technology that makes all of this possible, the blockchain. And I promise you, we're going to explain it using nothing more than a simple notebook. By the time we're done with this series, you are going to have the confidence and the knowledge to invest safely, to see past the hype, and to understand both the opportunities and the risks. Welcome to your crypto education. I can't wait to see you next time.